So are we in a period now where businesses are more attuned to acquiring data rather than analyzing it? I would say so. I think that quite a few companies, what they do today is they acquire data, they gather data, but uh, they typically don't know what to do with that because uh, people that uh, know exactly how the business operates and uh, what insight they, they are looking for, they don't have the data analytics skill. Mm. And uh, people that have the such skills, typically they are not in the forefront of uh, the business. I mean, they cannot really analyze the data in a way that provides insight to other people. So you have a session here at Strata Jumpstart. It's titled, The Importance of Measuring the Right Thing. How do you determine that right thing? So let me give you the example actually from the talk. Uh, many people actually use uh, things like sentiment analysis to understand uh, what people say about the firm. The problem with sentiment analysis is that uh, it tends to be rather the generic mm. and it's not customized to the context in which uh, people read uh, mm -hmm. this content. So for example, when people say things like good packaging as a feedback for a merchant on Amazon, typically this thing tends to have a negative impact on sales. And uh, people that rely just on sentiment analysis, they look at that and they say, oh, that's a good feedback. It's positive feedback. Right. But in reality, people interpret that negatively. Hmm. And this thing happens because people tend to exaggerate a lot on Amazon. You know, excellent seller, super duper service, lightning fast delivery. <laughs> so when someone <laughs> just says good packaging, I it's see. like, <laughs> is that all you got it's, right. it's yeah. almost like when you get a recommendation letter uh, for a student and it says something like he's a good student like oh just good that's it and he yeah. works hard he gets and C's right yeah, that's uh, it okay interesting. people know that people exaggerate a lot so they discount automatically huh. so something that seems to be positive yeah. gets interpreted negatively even if the person who wrote that wrote it with good intention sure it gets interpreted negatively. They're just not prone to hyperbole. Yeah. And, right, exactly. Interesting. Should people always challenge the initial conclusions they make from data? Is that sort of a, when you're going into analysis, you should work Quite with that Quite often, actually. Every time that something seems to confirm your intuition too much, I think it is good to either ask for feedback from other people, you know, tell you, let's see what other people think about this finding. Mm -hmm. And most of the time you can find ideas about how you can double check this information that you right. get. So last question for you, expanding mm -hmm. this a little bit. Mm -hmm. I know you follow Mechanical Turk pretty closely. Quite a lot. Right? How do you see that platform mm -hmm. evolving over the next two years or so? Okay. How, many, how much time do we have? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have been studying that for quite a while. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an interesting example of a market that uh, it started uh, with, uh, I would say, wrong design. So. It they considered uh, this market to be yet another of the cloud services that Amazon is offering, but a market that involves people who are strategic and they are responding to incentives is a very different from a market for CPUs and storage and mm -hmm. so on. And uh, because these incentives were not taken into consideration early on, I think Amazon needlessly faces a lot of problems. For example, right now, the anonymity that uh, people have, while it was supposed to s protect the privacy, it tends up uh, hurting people that are really good at what they are doing because they are being equated, they, they are put in the same level as the spammers hmm. that are going there and they are trying to get something for nothing. Mm -hmm. And uh, this difficulty of distinguishing yourself from you know, part of the population that is not performing mm -hmm. like you are performing uh, really hurts uh, the market overall. There is not enough trust. So there is a very big learning curve for employers there to figure out who is the good worker and mm -hmm. who is a bad worker. Mm. And this is a needless uh, obstacle for people to adopt this service. I so it's a reputation problem. Yeah, I have seen it again and again and again. So firms come to me and uh, they are asking for consulting and it's always the same thing. How can I deal with all these workers that offer 
lower quality than what I'm ex expecting. And do you think Amazon's going to address that somehow? They are trying. They are trying. They introduced this Amazon uh, Masters workers. Hmm. Um, I hope that they are going to push it forward even more. And uh, I talked to them a few months back. They seem to understand now that market for labor is not exactly the same as hmm. a market for cloud services. And uh, we'll see how sure. it goes. But I know that there are many people that are trying to jump into the idea of market for crowdsourcing. Hmm. Great. Well, thanks so much for being with us. Thank Appreciate you. it.